Oh my god. This is my voice three hours on testosterone. This is my voice one month on testosterone. This is my voice two months on testosterone. This is my voice three months on testosterone. This is my voice four months on testosterone. This is my voice six fucking months on testosterone. This is my voice seven months on testosterone. This is my voice eight months on testosterone. This is my voice nine months on testosterone. This is my voice 10 months on testosterone. This is my voice 11 months on testosterone. I'm 11 months on T, guys. 11. It's crazy. I went by so fucking fast. And I thought I was never gonna get on T. And I remember the day that I got on T and I was so excited for the changes. And I was like filming my voice every fucking two hours. Holy shit, guys. Like, I'm just tripping out because. I'm 11 fucking months on T. That's one month away from being a whole year on testosterone. So, changes. My hair is, um, I got a fucked up hairline. Don't tease me about that. My hair's thicker, and now you can kind of see it. You see how it's like, um, like, you can see, like, my skin because, like, it, like, pulls together because it's thicker. Like, black people hair, but not quite because my hair's kind of straight. So, that didn't really change. My hairline didn't change. I just cut it. It's just really fucked up. My acne is, um, it's doing better, like a lot better actually. It's calming down and the scars are starting to fade. So like if you, if, like last month, if you ran a, like a hand through it, it'd be all rough, but now it's kind of smooth. It's just, practice, it's just scars really. And I hope that will go away. I think um, I skipped last week's shot because uh, it, I just forgot, but I think it's better because I think maybe my testosterone was too high so that's why my face is acting up but I did it now I have 0.4 every other week and it's doing good so I might just stay on that but I should probably talk to my doctor about that. <laughs> um, one thing I noticed is that my neck thickened out a lot since pre-T and my head like actually squared out like a fucking lot. I'm gonna show you pictures. I thought my head didn't really change or anything and then I looked back at myself and I was so fucking ugly like my head looked like a giant round ass egg and my neck was so skinny and it looked like a fucking like egg on a toothpick it was disgusting I still have a pretty small neck but now I have like that jaw and my face doesn't look as fat and it, it squares it out more on uh, my neck I've always had this thing really since pre t but it's gotten bigger now it has this little like indent right here I don't know what the fuck that is but there's definitely more bass to my voice especially when I wake up see like I don't know I can like talk super low like this um but when I like put emotion into my voice it goes higher but I, I think I'm gonna practice talking like this for now because it's not more than I can get those ladies find my DMs yo Ash Tonics another thing I definitely noticed is that my my muscles are getting thicker. Like, even though I worked out and shit, I didn't notice that they're like thick and like tough, really. But now I haven't been working out for maybe like almost a month, and they're still like really thick. And it's like, I think it's just like you know how um little kids they don't have as uh, strong muscles as like a fucking twenty year old. Yeah, I think my muscles my muscles are starting to get more developed. And so I think that'll lead me to building more muscle, but I've been, building muscle for me has been really easy. So it's been like a really smooth flight and I just keep getting games and it's really, it's really, it's pretty good, man. I'm not complaining at all. Yes, I got a haircut, if you're asking. Um, are starting to see cuts like that normal cis people have. My shoulders are getting squared. Uh, there's that shoulder muscle right here that I finally built up. Oh my God, I love this thing. Cause when you're doing like the flies like this, you can see it and it looks so fucking, I don't know, it gets me hyped. Um, my traps are coming in more. Like, as you can see, my traps, traps, traps. I'm starting to get wings too. I don't know, but it's summer now. I thought I was gonna be able to go to the gym so much, but honestly, I'm so lazy. And I have a fucking um, competition coming up on July 1st. So I probably should film that and post it. Uh, last year is when I started this fucking account and that means I've had this like well I mean I've already had this account but like started like actually posting shit on it so oh my god like my shit trans guys say video I think is almost like already a year so holy fuck yeah you can see more definition in my arms and my back uh, uh, 
my chest, like I said, had more definition. I could flex the pecs now. Yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much it. I was gonna make another video about top surgery because I finally asked my mom about it. So yeah, there should be another video about that. And like how I'm doing in life and shit. Holy shit, I didn't notice that was there. That's new. I, I just literally just noticed that. And But I got um, some thigh muscles. Mom, I'm getting leg hair. Like I've noticed that it's it's actually starting to come in now. My dad doesn't have that much leg hair, but the leg hair that I have is definitely thicker and more curlier than it was pre-T and it and like the previous months on T. But I thought leg hair would be one of the first changes, but for me it was not. Like it's only starting to come in right now and I'm almost a year. So that's just something to um, look out for if you're like on just starting T or whatever. I don't know if my voice is still deepening. I don't know if I'm gonna grow. I'm still the exact same height, 5'4". I'm probably shorter than that, actually. Uh, I think I was like 5'3 and a half, but I always told people I was 5'4". Let's just say I'm 5'4". Yeah, but veins are um, happening. I'm starting to get veins like up here. I'm trying to lo lose some body fat so I can get them on my forearm and look like a beast. But you know, life, life just happens. Dude, I'm planning on um, a short film that's gonna come out. So, uh, mentally, I've been unstable. I'm just kidding. But it's easier for me to like say fuck it and just do things and like stop being a bitch and pussy out. Like I asked a girl out the other day. Um, it's complicated. I'm not gonna tell you how that goes, how that went. But I actually did it, and now I'm starting to like get my feelings together and starting to not be a bitch. I'm starting to handle rejection more, which is my biggest fear: rejection. Because I've been rejected so much, and it's just, I don't know, I just have like PTSD, man, I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Hope you guys are doing good. Uh, catch me in the gym sometime. I'm a fuck boy now. Okay. Right. Take care, guys. Um, have a fucking awesome ass summer. Uh, let me know what you're doing this summer, what you plan on doing. Anything, man. Just, um, yeah, you can text me, whatever. I'm always here. So, catch you in fucking 12 months, auntie. My left stroke just went viral.